Hey guys, welcome back. Well, today we're going to do something different. We're going to look at the Steve Reeves Hercules cookbook and actually make one of his favorite sandwiches from the cookbook. This cookbook was by George Helmer and Joe Vitale. There's a look at those two gentlemen. And this book was released in 2010. So today we're going to look at one of two of his favorite sandwiches. Apparently he had two sandwiches that he favored. One was made with ham. One was made with liverwurst. You can see there we're going with the ham. So you're going to need some Oro wheat bread to begin with. I like this bread because it's thick and hearty and it goes really well with ham and the rest of the ingredients here. So start out with that. Next, you're going to get some Grey Poupon and mix half of your serving. So let's say you had two tablespoons total. Put one tablespoon in your mixing bowl and then add the other tablespoon of mayonnaise. Doesn't specify which brand. I've got Hellman's there. And then mix those two together until it's at a nice mixed up consistency. And I believe reading the book, Steve kept his Grey Poupon Mayo mix ahead of time so he didn't have to do this each time. All right, and then spread your serving of that concoction on your bread. And by the way, this is the exact order that Steve made his sandwiches. What you're seeing right here is exactly how he built them. And that is what the Hercules cookbook tells us. All right, next we have a slice of red onion. Put that on there. And maybe he used a bigger onion. I have no idea, but that's what I got. All right, then we have some ham. And that is a ham steak. So I cut it in half. And that's about a third of a pound. Looking back, I believe I used a little bit too much. It sure looks good, though, doesn't it? So that is 98% fat-free ham. And then I've got a slice of fresh tomato. Now, this is a smaller tomato, so I'm going to cut three different slices and then just put it on there as if it were one slice. Nah, that's not enough. Let's add the rest. That looks wimpy. So let's add those other two slices on there. You got to fill up the whole thing. There we go. That looks much better. All right. After that, we have Alpine Lace Swiss Cheese. I got this directly from the deli at the grocery store. One slice is plenty. Another tablespoon or so of mayonnaise on top of the cheese and then finally another slice of bread and there you go that's a big sandwich he also would have cottage cheese on the side we're just going to go with the sandwich today so there you go there's a really good look at that i typically don't slice my sandwiches in half I don't know. It doesn't tell me whether Steve did or not. I'm going to pause the video just for a second here because I wanted to give you some tasting notes and then tell you a couple of stories. So what I liked about this is that the bread is very hearty. And when I eat bread myself, I do prefer this type of bread. Um, so it's arrow wheat, wheat bread. That gets an A plus from me. I liked the combination and the variety of the ingredients. There were, you know, more than just one or two things. A lot of times people eat sandwiches and you just have ham and cheese or roast beef and cheddar or whatever. So I liked the idea of having tomato on there and red onion. I like those things anyway. So this was nice. The zest of the gray poupon and the tang of the mayonnaise was a nice touch. I can see why. Steve would like that on there. The Swiss balances out the ham. Although, as mentioned, I probably used a little bit too much ham. Uh, the book says three or four slices. So that's probably closer to one quarter pound. And I used one third of a pound. The tomato adds some depth and the red onion gives it some punch. 
All in all, I really like this sandwich. How could you not like Hercules sandwich? Come on. I did not do macros. Who cares, right? Steve lived on a working ranch. He didn't need to know how many grams of protein and all that he was eating. So let's look through the book here just for a second. There's the sandwich that we just made. I give it a thumbs up. There are a couple of other recipes, and I've made probably like five recipes out of this book now, and I'm going to continue with Thanksgiving and Christmas right around the corner. I'm going to experiment with a dessert or two. There's some, there's a variety of pictures. We saw pictures of his Valley Center Ranch. There's George Helmer and his wife. Hang on, let's go back to that. There is George Helmer on the left, and this must have been mid to late 80s, maybe early 90s, I'm not sure, Joe Weider in the middle, and then George uh, Helmer's wife on the right. And this is all from the book, Steve Reeves Hercules Cookbook. And that is where George Helmer is showing George, sorry, Joe, his new contraption. It must have been like a rotating handle bar for training biceps and triceps so i don't know the whole story on that but there you go that's a nice picture okay so i'm going to pause the video again this is the steve reeves fitness and film festival from 2008 how do i know that because there i am right there in the middle you can see my name scott york that's dave dowling uh giving us a seminar and showing us some home movies and then on the right is my buddy Joe Vitale in the white shirt. And then on the left is David Morrow. And then Darren in this blue shirt at the very front here with this arm up on the chair. The four of us attended this. Of course, George Helmer was there. Steve's first wife, Sandra, was there. And so I love this event because... It was all divided up into sections of things to do. Like, for instance, George would talk about Steve's training for an hour or two and then take questions. And then Dave Dowling would talk about Steve's movie career. And we got to see some home movies that have never been seen before. As far as I know, nobody filmed this event. I wish they had. It would have been fantastic. So anyway, there is a snapshot of the 2008 Fitness and Film Festival in Valley Center, California. All right, and there's Steve at his ranch, 1997, enjoying the sandwich with a glass of goat's milk. So he either was eating the ham version or the liverwurst version. Now, hang on, I got a couple of other little stories to tell here. And George Helmer told me, well, actually I know this already because it's in the book, A Moment in Time, that uh, the book that George Helmer wrote. So George met Steve in 1985 at an NPC bodybuilding contest in Las Vegas, 1985. Steve was making an appearance and selling the Milton T. Moore Jr. book, One of a Kind, which only 1,200 were ever printed, to my knowledge, 1,200 copies. Those books sold for $14.95 in 1983. And now, if you get lucky enough to find one, they go for hundreds of dollars uh, on eBay or what have you, 300, 400. They are ultra rare. They have over 500 pictures of Steve Reeves in the book, One of a Kind. So George met Steve in 1985. Once in the mid 80s or late 80s, George was visiting Steve and Aline at their ranch in Valley Center. George stays for lunch or dinner, perhaps. Don't know which. Steve gets up to go do something. Aline leans over to George and tells him, George, you better get what you want right now in terms of food, because when Steve comes back, he will eat it all. And Steve had a really big appetite, but, you know, he could get away with it due to his lifestyle, living on a ranch, throwing around hay bales mending fences, taking care of the property, 14-acre ranch, riding horses, power walking, weight training, etc. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the Steve Reeves Hercules Cookbook.
I highly recommend it. And there's the sandwich. And I'm going to finish this up. So I will see you guys later. I give it a thumbs up. Mm-hmm.